static selector. Break it. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been so requested because I did one of these a while back, basically just showing my record collection. And ever since then, I think I've added like over 30 <laughs> new vinyl to my collection, which is just insane. I want you guys to know that I have stopped buying records for the time being because I have a problem. Like you guys will see in the video how much of a problem I have. I used to go to Amoeba Music, which is like the big record store. I just hit my record player in um, Hollywood and I would go there all the time and buy like four to five records at a time and then leave and I was just like what am I even doing I just needed to get a hold of myself so I did so today I'm joined with my coffee just to kind of reflect on all the things the purchases that I've made and um, share my vinyl and my music collection with you guys because this is my music collection at age 20 and I think this would be cool to look back on when I'm like 40 and be like hey that's what I was listening to back then you know what I mean so here we go first things first I want to talk about my setup with my record player and stuff I have an audio technica it's the Bluetooth version so I can pair this to my Bluetooth speaker over here and then the speaker itself is from fresh e-tech and it's their June and May speaker it's really portable got a little strap on there love her but I'm actually in the market for new speakers because I want this to be very loud and maybe have like some bass in there a little bit you know because this goes loud but I need it louder I need my music very loud so if you guys have an audio technica let me know what speakers you have hooked up to it and if you like them because like I said I'm in the market and I got a lot of questions on this in my first record collection video so the stand itself is from Urban Outfitters it's I don't know what it's called I'll try to link it down below and find it for you guys if they still have it for sale but yeah I really like this because it also has a shelf for all of my CDs and stuff so that's all down there and now without further ado let's just get into the the stuff you know um, I have all of my records alphabetically organized by first name and I know that people do it differently but I got a bunch of comments in my last video being like what the heck you're supposed to do it by last name and like I don't care you know this just works for me so organize them however works for you but the first in my collection is Alanis Morissette's um, Jagged Little Pill album she has a very uniquely raw voice and it's very powerful so love Alanis my mom introduced me to her and she's She's a good one, folks. Now we have my beloved Amy Winehouse vinyl. <laughs> this is Frank, and this is one of my favorite albums from her. I mean, seriously, it's just such a gem. Little dog on the cover. And, um, oh, wait, I meant to say, <laughs> what am I doing? Um, I'm going to make a playlist for this video and pick a favorite song from every single one. So I already have the playlist on my Spotify. I'll link it down below. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, such a bop of an album. If you don't have this in your Amy record collection, get it, because whoo, shit. And while you're it, just get this one too. This is the Lioness Hidden Treasures. There's a really good song with Nas on here. Her Tony Bennett collab is on here and just really good gems like that. So love Amy, love both of these. Now we have something a little bit newer age, you know, more for the kids these days. <laughs> Anderson Pack is one of my favorite, favorite rappers right now. And he also just has like such an amazing style of rap. It's just like very jazzy, a lot of instruments in there fucking love this album malibu is so good holy shit there's like voice recordings in there leading you through it all love shit like that love it so much oh my god we got some more rap music here this is a tribe called quests midnight marauders album just love this group in general rest in peace fife dog i love you man can you guys see how quickly i'm going through this because i have like 60 something to get through <laughs> all right now we got wildflower from the avalanches this came out in 2016 and i was fucking obsessed with it and i don't listen to it as much as i as i did last year i think i kind of went overboard <laughs> with um my playing of the song frankie sinatra just a gem the extended version is on here and i just like pop my ass to it all the time Oh my god, it's so good. It has, um, fuck, what's his name? Danny Brown on it. I don't know why I just blanked on that for a second. Danny Brown is a funny-ass rapper, just the way that his voice sounds. It's just so unique. Um, so yeah, when I heard his collab with The Avalanches, I was like, oh, I gotta check it out. The Avalanches are great if you guys like kind of more more jazzy type very instrumental tunes that's just what i'm gonna keep describing shit as now we have this beautiful and furry vinyl from beach house this is their depression cherry album but yeah it's super velvety and beautiful and nice just a black vinyl in there though i wish it was like a nice deep red vinyl that would be really cool but they already outdid themselves with the packaging so love them gonna stop talking about the packaging now and talk about how chill this album is because 
Wow, I could just fall asleep to this. I would definitely put this on like a rainy day chill playlist, you know, <laughs> like it's just kick your feet up music, you know, take your top off, unwind from the day, take a bath. You know, that's what they sound like. Now we have another hip hop album. This is from my man Black, who is from Atlanta. Um, he has a six as a B in his name, but it is pronounced Black. But let's talk about this album, guys, because holy shit, did I play the shit out of this um, for a good, good portion of last year. I mean, seriously, I ran it ragged just like I did to that Avalanche's album. Love him, love that he's from Zone 6, just like all other great artists, you know? Shout out to Atlanta, my hometown. I'm gonna speed this up because I'm talking way too much much, but Blood Orange's Freetown Sound album. Dev Hines is just <laughs> my baby. I love him. I saw him perform this album live at um, FYF last year, and it's just a fucking gem, so please listen, kids. <coughs> Clean up on aisle five. I just spilled my iced coffee everywhere. Guys, that was really bad. I got overly excited pulling out dopamine from Borns and knocked over my entire glass of coffee. Like literally there is basically nothing left. I gotta get back into this video, man. I have a lot of excitement for this album, as you can see. Borns is my baby. He is so hot, so good looking, so amazing sounding. And let me just say, the first time I heard Borns' voice, I thought he was a woman. His singing voice is just very high sounding for a man. It's really beautiful and amazing and just oh so light love him very like happy-go-lucky kind of frolic around field tunes now we got that good R&B man <laughs> Bryson Tiller love him and this is like honestly one of the sexiest albums of all time do a little you know putting this on when you got a man's over it's just always whoo really good now for my C category, Cage the Elephant. Love this band, love this album. If there was one album that I overplay in my collection, it is this. I never tire of it. It's called Tell Me I'm Pretty, and there's a song on here called How Are You True? And it's one of my favorite songs of all time. I just, oh, love it. Okay, little oldies happening. Cat Stevens' greatest hits. My parents gave me this when they came to visit me, actually. But this is a fantastic friggin' album, and I love me some good oldies music. I actually have an entire music with Megan on oldies music as well, so if you want to check that out, I'll link it down below or on the screen. I don't know. Oh my gosh, my baby, Chet Faker. Where is he? Where is he gone? I don't know. There has been no music released from this man since this album. This is Built on Glass by him. It's Barbie Pink. I mean, seriously, like how much better does it get? There's two LPs in here and so much amazing music. There's like a Kilo Quiche feature on this album. This is just such chill tunes. That's what he is, some chill tunes, guys. But really, it's like, ah, oh, just impeccable music. Saw him live as well, just loved him. Okay, I will be honest. I normally listen to older Coldplay and this was like 2016 Coldplay and you know I can't say that I love it but I can say that it's like really visually pleasing. All right more sexy time music. D'Angelo baby. <laughs> Voodoo is one of the greatest albums of all time for real. If you have not heard this album please just go do yourself a favor and listen to it. I need to stop abusing my record player over here. Holy shit. But anyways check out this album. It's so sexy. I love it. Okay more chill tunes. Death Cab for Cutie. This is more like sleepy time-ish music, um, but sometimes it gets more hype, more loud, more instrumental of sorts. Um, but I really, really love this album. I just think it's so amazing. It's called Plans. Okay, this is something I got for last Christmas. This is Donny Hathaway's Extension of a Man. Um, I got this because one, I found out about Donny Hathaway from Amy Winehouse. She was like obsessed with him. And then I watched Amoeba Music, that record store that I go to all the time. They have a YouTube channel and they do what's in my bag videos with artists. And I think I was watching Dev Hines's actually from Blood Orange um, his what's in my bag and he talked about this and I was like, hell yeah, I'm getting it. So I did, and it's such an impeccable album. I need to go quicker, for real. I have the Eagles here, the Eagles greatest hits. Love me some good oldies. Like I said, there's so many good songs on here. Now we have Earl Sweatshirt's Doris album. This is my all time favorite Earl album. It's fucking great. I just hit myself in the head with this. If you don't listen to Earl, please check him out. Love him. This is something that I picked up for like a dollar at a record store one time, and I loved just the album artwork, and I was like, Eddie Grant, walking on sunshine, gonna give him a try. And um, yeah, it's a super good album. It's kind of like happy, like reggae infused music of sorts. Good guy. Oh wow. Now we have a really, really good album. This is X from Ed Sheeran. There are so many bops on this album. I mean, seriously. One, sing, don't, photograph, freaking Nina. Like I could go on for 110 years. This is one of my favorite albums from Ed. Like, oh, 
Just so great. Now we have Edward Sharp with the Magnetic Zeros. This is an album called Up From Below and it's so freaking pretty on the inside. Love the photography, love them. There are so many fucking people in this band. They're all just such great positive individuals and Home is on this album, but also a bunch of other bops on here. 40 Day Dream, Blackwater, I could go on. Now we have my lady, Miss Erica Badu. Love this woman's music. It's so fucking great, spiritual, unique. All of the things. Oh, love her. She's my mom. This is New America Part 2, Return of the Ankh. And the inside, can we talk about that? Her fucking tree growing out of her head, like, oh! Thank you for Erica Badu, whoever's up there, whoever's listening, oh, love her. Now I got some Fleetwood Mac, Rumors. This is a true classic of sorts. One of my subscribers actually sent me this, so shout out to you. Now, we have a new age classic for all the kids out there. This is Blonde from Frank Ocean impeccable album. I mean, if you haven't heard it, I don't even know what to tell you. Really good stuff. Really, really love this album. And having it on vinyl is so prized. Now we have That's Live from Frank Sinatra. Um, some really good hits and bops on here. And I just, like I said, love oldies. Love to have a couple of those mixed into the collection. You got to, folks. You got to. Now we have the score from the Fugees. They are such fucking gems. Lauren Hill is in this and she makes it what it is. Let me just tell you that. I mean, seriously, Lauren Hill is just my baby. She's impeccable. Her raps are insane. And this is just really great, like R&B slash rap music, you know? Now we have one that is Toe Up. Actually, a subscriber sent this to me as well. This is George Benson's Weekend in LA. But yeah, his face is on the back back here. Some really good bops. Love a nice jazzy man. Guys, this is why I can't film music with Megan videos anymore. I just talk too much. There's too much to share. So for the rest of the video, I'm just gonna hold up the record, show it to you, maybe say a few blurbs, but probably to just show you the name and the artist, okay? Because I gotta get through these. There's still so many more. Gladys Knight and the Pips. I Feel a Song. The Grease soundtrack. One of my favorite musicals of all time. The Great Songs of Christmas. One of you sent this to me. I don't know. Badlands by Halsey. Love this woman. Hate when people talk shit about her. She's my baby. Cannot wait for the new album. Let's Be Still by The Head and the Heart. Field frolicking music. Ego Death from the internet. My babies. I like it when you sleep for you are so beautiful yet so unaware of it by the 1975. <sighs> One of my favorite albums of all time. I could talk about these boys for as long as I live. I'm a fangirl for the 1975. I love them. Now, that was the end of my record rack, and now we have my record crate. I'll move the camera down so you can see it. I had to buy this second vessel for all of my vinyl, and this crate is also from Urban Outfitters as well. And in this here crate, we have Sweet Baby James from James Taylor. More oldies music. He's so good. James Taylor is my dad. Next, we have Sold Out from my woman, Jeanette. Aiko. I've seen her live like three times now and she just really rips my wig off every single time so love me some good Janae. Now we have the Jimi Hendrix experience. Jimi Hendrix is one of the greatest of all time. If you don't have at least one Jimi record in your collection, I don't trust you as a person. I'm just kidding but really you should add him to your collection because his guitar skills are unlike anything out there, okay? He's a legend dude. Get with it. Now we have one of my favorite albums of all time. I'm not even kidding about it. This album is so nostalgic and reminds me of high school. This is 1999 from Joey Badass. <laughs> Sorry, if you love rap music, listen to it. Now we have the John Lennon collection. This is just another one of those oldies. Like, I love to get the greatest hits just so all of my faves from that artist are on um, the same vinyl and I can listen to them all at once, you know? And speaking of John Lennon, this is Milk and Honey. This I got for Christmas actually this year. Um, and Yoko Ono is on this as well, his lover woman. And I love the concept of this album, but Yoko's voice is not my fave. I mean, she's obviously not as talented vocally as John was, but it's like I love to entertain the idea of the album. I don't listen to it that much anymore. Um, next, is that fucked up? We're moving on. Anyways, this is Blue from Joni Mitchell. Joni Mitchell is one of the greatest of all time. I mean, seriously, just reminds me so much of my mom. Love me some good oldies. Now we have My Baby. This is my favorite album from Lana Del Rey. This is Born to Die. There are so many fucking bops on this album. It's ridiculous and I just love her dearly. I'm so excited for her new album. Now we have lead singer of the Fugees who I showed earlier, Lauren Hill. This is the miseducation of Lauren Hill and it is just a prime album that I think that everybody needs in their R&B 
record collection. If you love a badass female, check out that album. It's amazing. Now we have a classic, a true classic, Lord's Pure Heroin album. Once again, so many bops on this album. I could just talk about that for 500 years and how much I love it. But I'm gonna move on to my vinyl from the Lumineers. This is their first album they ever released. I think this is just self-titled. Yeah, it is. So if you just found out about the Lumineers this year, please go back and listen to this album because, I mean, they popped off this year when they released Cleopatra, but they had some bops before it too. Um, but really, I love this album. I actually think that I listen to this more than I do the first album, but still, just all of their music collectively is unreal. I bawled at their concert. I love them so much. I was waiting so hard for that moment for so many years, and I'm so happy that they're blowing up. Anyways, this is Mac DeMarco 2. I love the fuck out of this album, just like I love the fuck out of Mac DeMarco. Oh my god, I could just like rave about him. He is like one of my dream men, you know? Like, I want to marry a man like Mac DeMarco, okay? Or like my other man, Mac, Mac Miller. You guys know this is my baby. Mac definitely takes up the most room in my record collection because he's like my number one favorite artist. So I have um, just albums going by year of release date. So this is 2013, watching movies with the sound off. In 2015, he released Good AM, just impeccable. Very hard album there, very, very hard. And then in 2016, he released The Divine Feminine. And this is such like a beautiful sounding album. It's one of my favorite pieces of work that Mac has ever made. Very different from his normal path and I fucking love him. Now this is a gift from a subscriber as well. This is Massive Attack's Mezzanine album and it's just so fucking cool. I love Massive Attack. I think that really like cool instrumental sounding music like that is just very um, audibly pleasing, you know, very pleasing to my ear holes. Now we have my favorite jazz album. This is Miles Davis's Kind of Blue, a true classic. Next this is Milky Chance Sad Necessary album and there's just like their bops on here, you know what I mean? Still and dance, Sweet Sun, Fairy Tale, my faves from them. Now we have my man Mod. This is the Look Up album, my favorite fucking album from Mod. It's signed and it's beautiful and just amazing. Oh my gosh, this is a gem as well. Mumford and Sons, Babel. If you love like folk rock kind of sound, check out them. I mean, for real. You probably already know who Mumford and Sons is. I'm just saying, like, everybody should appreciate that album more. And this album, this was my soundtrack to summer 2016. This is Hoka from Nako and Medicine from The People. Please listen to that album. Album. It's so like spiritual and great and just like oh, amazing. He has such a unique voice um, This is the Napoleon Dynamite soundtrack to the movie. Oh god. It's so funny. That's one of my favorite movies um, Next we have wiped out from the neighborhood. This is also one of my favorite fucking bops. I need new neighborhood music I've seen them live probably like two or three times now, but they're just amazing next is more kind of oldie sounding stuff This is Nora Jones. She's one of my favorite female artists of all time um, This is the feels like home album and it's just one of my like fucking faves. Now we have the perks of being a wallflower soundtrack. Such a gem. More oldies. Some Prince, the Purple Rain album. Such a fucking gem, dude. Oh my god. You need Prince in your record collection, especially after his passing. R.I.P. my man, you king. I will forever let him live on in my music collection. Seriously. Just like Ray Charles. Love you, man. This is the ultimate collection from him. More of my faves. Ray LaMontagne. My parents introduced me to him. This is Gossip in the Grain. Now we have a Christmas gift from my mother. This is Rising Appalachia's Wider Circles album. Album. I saw them live with my mom and my friend Dustin actually opened up for them um, That was like back in December when I was home and it was one of the coolest concerts I've ever been to seriously love folk music like that like fucking amazing now We have my Roy Ayers album. This is Obi Quitty. I don't fucking know how to pronounce this album I found out about Roy Ayers from Tyler the Creator actually he's like obsessed with him So I checked out his music and I love it moving on a true true 2016 bop This is Solange's a seat at the table Oh my god, Mwah. love you, you beautiful woman. You sound so good when you do the thing. Next, we have more classic hits, Super Tramp. I got this at the Trading Post. This is their Paris album, so it's like a live recorded version. I got it for super cheap, but it's also fucking great. So definitely try to like thrift a lot of vinyl too, if you're looking to add more to your collection, because you can find some really good oldies bops. This is a more current album though. This is Vessel from 21 Pilots. I love this album so much. I think I love it more than I do the Blurry Face album. My camera died right when I was almost at the end of this, but I swear we're getting close, folks. Like, three more to go. This is Wolf from Tyler the Creator. My favorite fucking album from him. I could go on about Tyler and how much he has influenced my life, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna say listen to this album because the production is insane and 
and it's just such a gem from him. I really, really love that album. Next, one of my more underground faves. I would say that they are very underrated, and I have a pizza talk with them up, and they're a fucking great band, okay? Wild Child, this is their Fools album. I need you guys to listen to it because I love their sound. Like, oh my gosh, it's just like so soothing sounding, so happy sounding, so many good like love songs, cutie just little duets, you know, just love it. And to end off this record collection, we're finishing with my man, Ben Staples. This is the Prima Donna album. This is what released in, I want to say 2016 from him. This is my like smallest vinyl as well. It's like a seven incher. It's pretty tiny. It's white and it's beautiful. And with that, that is the end of my very, very long music collection video. Um, I just love showing you guys all of my vinyl. I think it's just really fun to share my music taste with all of you out there and just tell you why I love it and why you should check it out. And hopefully I put you on to some new people. If you watched this far, please go down and comment your favorite artist that I showed down below and we can just talk about how much we love them together, our mutual loves. And yeah, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will just see you in my next video. Okay, stay smiling. Bye guys. Got up exactly in the A's Probably the hunger had struck me The push to stay alive is upon me When I wash, I wash the pain So that my work's